everybody, this is Hilkin coming out here with another installment on my Punk Rock Aerobics at Home series. We created Punk Rock Aerobics exactly 20 years ago today. It's the original DIY workout that will have you pogoing your ass off. Remember to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and check out punkrockaerobics.com for all info on live stream classes, merch, and other great stuff. Today's episode, we're going to be sweating to the oldies to one of my favorite bands, the New Bomb Turks, and their song, Born to Lose Lautrec. We got some sick moves to go along to this song, punks. But before we do that, we're going to do our Phone a Punk series with Eric from the New Bomb Turks right now. Hey, Eric, are you there? Hey, how you doing? How's New York City? Oh, it's great. You know, it's awesome. A lot of fun. Going out a lot, seeing shows. No, it sucks. It's such a shitty time for everyone. Um, but we're so psyched to have you on the show. And I wanted to ask you a little bit about the song that we're using for the show, Born to Lose the Trek. A little bit about how you came up with the name for that song and when did you write that? It was probably around when Johnny Thunders died, I think. I was uh -huh. probably coming up with that lyric. Anyway, I was obviously a big Dolls fan and a big Johnny Thunders fan. And, and, um, and then, you know, I also <laughs> liked to lose the track, you know, those two things. Well, yeah, there's nothing better than Johnny Thunders and a post-impressionist. I might have also recently seen that great Jose Farrar movie where he, he walked around the entire movie on his knees playing toulouse lautrec to look short. What are you doing for exercise these days? I just feel like, you know, you, I'm resorting. We're in a building with just two apartments, but it's one stairwell. So I think starting next week, I'm literally just going to start like doing walks up and down the stairs for 10 minutes. You know what I mean? Just like anything. Well, yeah, you got to be resourceful. All the gyms are closed. You know, you're still allowed to go outside, you know, we're not that dystopian just yet, you know. So so we try to go for like a walk a day or yesterday I rode my bike for a little bit and Well that's good. One thing about this being stuck in is we're not drinking as much and you'll drop a few pounds from that probably. So um but luckily our wine shop downstairs that our landlord owns is still open because thankfully in New York you know, booze shops are considered essential services, right? So um, we've been able to go downstairs and get wine. So that's part of my workout regimen too, opening up wine bottles. We have an electric one now too, because for Americans, opening up a wine bottle was way too hard. So we have this electric one and you just sit there. Okay, so yeah, I just wanna ask you. Um, so yeah, do you have any diet regimen or rules? No, my regimen involves, you know, cheap beer, pretzels, I like pretzels a lot. Um, I've been vegetarian for like, I don't know, 25 years or something. I guess that's a diet rule. Um, not totally vegan, because they haven't made good enough fake cheese for pizza yet. Did you play sports as a kid? I had this um, baseball coach when I played t-ball, that's about as far as I got. And he had this really cool 70s Cadillac and he used to take us all out to get ice cream after practice. So that's really the only reason I played baseball those two summers was to go get ice cream after practice. Okay. And cool that's, so, that's really cute. Well, <laughs> it's also made me think, did something else happen with this old guy in the can? Like, you know, I don't wanna know. Okay, okay, what about this? Is uh, Frisbee a sport to you? I love playing Frisbee, but no, I would not consider it a sport. I'm more of a team sport guy and people who play uh, people who play, I'm at, not at all really to be honest, but um, uh, people who play like football frisbee or whatever out in a park just to me look sad and pathetic. Like two people playing frisbee is cute. Any more than that, it's just like, how the, f what? No, don't do that. Let me ask you, is your state of being in shape or not ever affected your live performance on stage? Because I know you're like really active on stage. Yeah, of course. I get tired, but then you just try to pace yourself somehow and like the next song just kind of stand over there a little bit and drink some water or whatever you know and and um yeah i remember one time we played an outdoor festival in italy and it was seriously it was in a tent a really huge long tent and supposedly there were three thousand people in this tent i mean it was a huge long tent and it was yeah. like 98 degrees and like 90 percent humidity or something like that it was just awful, you know, uh, like you, were, you felt like shit before yeah. you walked on stage. So when we went out, you know, I broke my no shorts rule, you know, I had to wear the shorts on stage. Um, <laughs> the band right before us, <laughs> the band right before us all 
just played naked. I think it was Voodoo Glow Skulls, I believe. They, they all played naked, just naked. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds crazy. Speaking of naked men, um, what's your take on Henry Rollins? I love Hank. He's a great guy. I remember um, Rollins was in town one time in Columbus. This is like 91 or something. Right. And 92 maybe. And I worked at this coffee shop and, and Henry Rollins walks in and I'm like, whoa, crazy Henry Rollins. So he asked for a double shot of espresso. Not to pat myself on the back, but I was pretty good at making double shots of espresso. So I made him as best as I could make it. I give it to him. He drinks it. And I'm realizing just from the vibe that there ain't gonna be any conversation here. I'm not even gonna, you know, I'm in a band, you know. So I just left right. it alone. Right. So that night I went to see a local band, Scrawl. Scrawl's really great. If you never heard of me, you should look him up. And I went to see Scrawl and he was standing, there were like curtains on the side of the stage at the small bar. And he was standing behind the curtain. It was really goofy. Like, if you don't wanna be noticed, don't sort of pop your head out behind the curtain, but whatever, that's fine. And he was standing behind the curtain, so I went over to him. I said, hey, Hank, how'd you like that espresso? <laughs> he went, oh, yeah, you're the coffee shop guy, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I made the, I kept calling him Hank. I don't know. And, um, and he was like, uh, yeah, it was good. It was actually, it was very good. Thank you. <laughs> so I got that out of Henry. So. Thanks for coming on the show, Eric. Next time you come back, you should do some punk rock aerobics with us. You know, my, my notions of aerobics are like, gauzy memories of Jane Fonda and leg warmers or whatever, you know, but it sounds like you have a much more solid and interesting version. All right. Bye, Eric. Thanks so much. Stay safe. Be careful. Take care. Stay safe. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to work out to Born to Lose Lautrec by the New Bomb Turks. And just like a punk rock song with three chords, there's three moves to each song. And I'm going to show you those moves next. The three moves in Born to Lose Lautrec by the New Bomb Turks are Roto-Rooter, up and down, knee up to the elbow. You've done this one before. The next move is ham curl with a swim. You just do a hamstring curl with the hands and then you swim it in a circle. Ham curl with a swim. Ham curl with a swim. Ham curl with a swim. Okay, and then the third move is Iggy's punch. Three knees, one, two, three, back and forth. One, two, three, back and forth. There are two wild card moves in this song, pogo to keep your heart rate up in between with breakdowns of air guitar stretching. Okay, you ready to rock this? Let's do it! Pogo! Air guitar! Pogo! 
That was awesome. Thank you so much. You did a great job working out with me. I want to thank the New Bomb Turks for giving us that song to rock out to. And remember, as Patti Smith said, punk rock to me is the freedom to create, the freedom to not create, the freedom to be successful, the freedom to not be successful. It's freedom. And that's what punk rock is. The punk rock fitness revolution, it starts in your mind. So remember that and come back here next week and rock out with me. Don't forget, Stay safe, wash your hands, stay inside, and we got to stick together through this. Like blue, like crew. Got to stay together.